What's up everybody? I apologize, I have not made a video in some time. As you know, this is just a hobby of mine to upload videos, but I did recently change jobs about two and a half, three weeks ago, and I've been extremely busy with that new position and working some of my own time on the weekends, staying ahead as I learn some of these new tasks. But I did get a couple of figures in and I have been making several 3D prints of the same item just because I love the file. But first, let me show you some of the pickups. Uh, my wife got me this Transformers Legacy, I believe it's Legacy, Skids. Uh, it's not the best mold, but uh, it looks great up there on the shelf. And uh, it's really getting the G1s to look very nice together. So uh, yeah, we have him on the shelf. The next one we have is uh, Human Torch from Fantastic Four. You've probably seen this in a prior video because I've had it before. And if you have any fur babies, they uh, will sometimes defeat a Marvel legend. So uh, she got a hold of this one and chewed up the hand and the foot right there, part of that foot. But, what is cool is I've seen on YouTube where someone put some yellow paint onto these flames and I was a little too hesitant to try myself, but now I have an extra one to try that on. So I am gonna try to put some yellow paint on here to give it a little bit of an effect and uh, go from there. So uh, kind of is a win-win for me. Uh, my wife replaced the figure and now I have this one to try putting the paint on. So we have that. The next one I got was from Hasbro Pulse. This is N N Nalon Chill, uh, the deluxe edition with multiple instruments. I have one other basic one. I'd like to get two others to have a full set of the band. I think there's four, maybe five. So I'm gonna get that one. This one has been extremely hard for me to locate. I just happened to go onto the Walgreens website and it was there. Uh, I believe I got free shipping. I can't remember, but it wasn't too crazy. Uh, with shipping and everything, if there was shipping, I want to say I didn't pay no more than $28, $29, I think. Um, so extremely happy to get this. I know a lot of people are buying this uh, just because it's a suited figure and because there's a ton of weapons and there are flash effects for the firearm. So uh, definitely happy to have this one to the collection. I don't really pick up a lot of Marvel Legends as much as I used to. They have just went up in price and their accessories have kind of dwindled, but this was definitely an exception to pick up. So happy to have that. The next couple of things are just some 3D prints. You've seen some of the manhole covers. Well, I had some issues um, as stated in one of the older videos. I had to replace the extruder on my Flash Forge Adventure 3 series. I replaced the um, removable bed uh, because I had prints not sticking very well. And I changed the filament because I think the filament that I bought off Amazon was not too good. It might've been old. I don't really know too much about that but I bought a Flash Forge uh, product of filament that they actually sell in their store. So uh, it's been working great. As you can see, the bottom is very good. Um, I do print everything on rafts just because I prefer that. But um, a lot of people on my Facebook say this looks like a giant, oat, uh, not oatmeal, but a Oreo. But uh, I definitely wanted to show you how well it is printing with the, the, the new extruder filament and everything. And uh, these are some manhole sewer covers. So uh, definitely happy to have that. I, I found a file on Thingiverse and it had two toolboxes. If you go on Thingiverse and search for one tenth scale stuff, they work phenomenally well with one twelfth scale stuff. But there's a lot of people that make one tenth scale stuff to put on remote control cars and um, set up dioramas with their RCs and stuff. And uh, I found this toolbox and one set snap on, as you can see right there. And just to give you an idea, we'll get banged up torch right next to it. And then there was another one with, um, let me see, Mastercraft brand. 
And I'm more familiar with Snap-on than MasterCraft, uh, just because there's no real reason. But uh, I thought this was a very nice print. It's got like a little lock right there. It's got the emblem. It's got three drawers right there and then three long drawers. And uh, I have printed several of these. I just love the way this file came out. And again, it was on Thingiverse. So then I also took that same file and upscaled it. Like it's a huge toolbox, like one that you'd see in a shop that's rolled around or up on top of a counter. And then you can put this little one on top and it looks like a whole tool set. So uh, as you can see, I have made several of them just because it was a good print and it just turned out well and I was pumping out a bunch of them. Probably give some away to some friends uh, and go from there. But uh, plan on painting these red, putting some silver to the drawers, uh, silver to the snap-on emblem, and uh, just having fun with it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's not a lot of figures and not a lot of 3D prints on this video. Again, as I stated, I've changed jobs and I'm enjoying it immensely. And uh, it's been good on me and my family. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little haul and 3D video. Uh, let me know if you like the toolboxes. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to put some 1 to 1 10th scale wheels on one of them, make it taller, just have fun with it. But hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and just enjoy the content. Later. Bye.